Okay, so there's there's one more thing real quick uh, because we're kind of talking religion. This is Cointelegraph. Uh, Dot com and the headline here nft and islamic education a new frontier to teach religion i thought this was interesting for hmm. us basil for you and me particularly uh it says here the world is in the midst of a digital revolution and with it the way we think about value is shifting the application of non-fungible tokens to represent and transmit religious values and principles is one of the most fascinating manifestations of this new perspective the NFT is a very new technology, but there's lots of excitement about its potential. There's also a lot of enthusiasm for the possibilities that NFTs provide in various sectors, including education and religion. The ability of NFTs to help teach and pass on religious values and beliefs is particularly fascinating. Cointelegraph caught up with Dipali Shukla, the founder and managing director at MetaD, a new London-based NFT marketplace that just launched exclusive handwritten Quran NFTs dating back to the beginning of Islam. The Mm. unique Quran manuscript uh, manuscript believed to have been composed between 632 and 1100 AD is now kept by the custodian family in Saudi Arabia. The copies have been authenticated and verified by the University of Oxford's Research Laboratory for Archaeology and the History of Art uh, after a thorough investigation. Shukla, a longtime collector and admirer of art, told Cointelegraph that she was compelled to connect the physical and virtual realms. She noted that the NFT realm, a digital art token, serves as the equivalent of the actual artwork. While explaining mm. the role of NFTs in Islamic societies, she highlighted that, quote, scriptures from the ancient times, for example, are often heard but seldom appreciated in their fuller essence. Today, technology allows access to novel treasures from their exclusive realm while at the same time manifesting their goodness to the general public. In the context of whether NFTs are halal or haram, Shukla responded that Islam is usually taught with the goal of adjusting to the world's ever-changing demands. She referred to uh, Mm -hmm. crescentwealth.com.au, which states that NFTs might be used as a high-tech financial remedy against inflation. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Muslims, on the other hand, must keep in mind that an NFT must adhere to halal principles, she noted. The digitization of sacred art allows it to be readily available to the general public as well as Muslims who follow Islamic culture, according to, according to Shukla. Real quick. Mm-hmm. So just so I can understand terms here. Halal is kind of like the Islamic version of, of kosher. Of, uh, kosher? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, quote, with potential to reach non-Muslims and other institutions, NFTs could be easily accessed using mobile, laptop, and a variety of gadgets. It gets into some more of that. Digital learning and project sharing are inherent attributes of NFT technology. Ed tech lowers the cost of education, making inclusive learning easier to underprivileged. And, uh, you know, it goes on and on and on. So my question is, Basil, somebody has to be creating an NFT project that, you know, is a validation of, for example, the Dead Sea Scrolls or, you know, some of the early manuscripts. And uh, it would be interesting if uh, you can fractionalize some of that and, you know, create public ownership. But is, do you think that's a good, uh, <laughs> a good escape plan for us, Basil, to, you know, maybe end the podcasting career? <laughs> N- NFT, the Dead Sea Scrolls? Yeah. Sure. Why not? <laughs> I mean, we, we know people that can maybe have access to it, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm thinking somebody's already on it and we're late. Well, it's just whoever can get there first we can pump it out by tomorrow we might be the first to market baby <laughs> we know what Aaron- they gotta have some are they, are they here's the real question uh-huh. though are the dead sea scrolls like licensed they does somebody be. own the license to the dead sea scrolls i don't know but then we can tell the whoever owns it with the license be like hey you can make a <laughs> an nft version you. of your license Oof, we got you baby just give us a little little off the top there Anyway, okay. there you go. That's uh, so. That was the whole thing. You wanted to, that was that was the well, reason. Well, yes, but also I think in the context of NFTs and Islam making mm-hmm. its move, uh, you know, the the church Christianity, yeah. we need to we need to stay on this, and I think we will well, play a role that many will not expect us to play in this whole process. And I would argue, you, you and I, yes, and I would argue oh, that no. you 
mm. uh, oh, uh, have been in this fight longer than uh-huh. anybody else. So because of yeah, your which is why mind I'm control s- machine on your so head. So tired. This is yeah. why you're so tired. 